anybody in his lane. He wants, he wants to be solo versus Doom. That's the ideal situation for LGD. Feasibly, any of these heroes could go literally anywhere. Because we've had, we've had Carry Prophet, we've had Med Prophet. He's been every role under the sun. I think Lone Druid is the one hero that's like he is pos one or pos two. And that's a tiny coming out from Vici Gaming for Ori. Everything's looking pretty normal over on the Radiant side. They do have two heroes with pool tangos, though, I believe. Why does Lone Druid look so cool, wearing some nice shades? Skater, bro. He looks sick. I was like ski. Uh, what what are they? He looks like, homeless. He looks like Cyclops <laughs> mixed with skiing goggles. Yeah, he reminds me of Nomad. <laughs> 30 seconds to battle. What's that visage of the Arctic Albert clan? Gorgeous. Very nice. So X Nova, the position five bat rider. It looks like he's going to be starting top, at least to gather up some bounty runes and secure them for Arme. And Prophet is heading in towards that mid lane. Somnus going to be 1v1ing that tiny of Ori. Down bottom, Chalice just waddles on forwards. As FY gets shoved away from the runes, Chalice and Arme grabbing one apiece. Two apiece for Chalice, in fact, as a three for one gives LGD the advantage. And Nomad's told us they are snow goggles. FY. Oh, he's nearly about to die down bottom. Very, very barely gets away from that Grimstroke. Yeah, he needs to run back. No region whatsoever already used the Tango. There's no way he's going to pop those two Tangos. Would take him <laughs> way too much time. And DY is being bullied back by the bat. That's pretty sad for him. So down bot, fade on the Grimstroke, chasing Chalice around. Does have the Flesh Heap level one, but the double Stout Shield. So incredibly difficult to harass this Pudge out of lane whatsoever. It's a, a losing battle for the Grimstroke, it feels like, if Chalice wants to go and give him a couple of whacks himself. Just focusing on that CS. As Yang with Devour first, unable to really push any damage his way. And FY coming down bot, we'll say hi. X Nova up against the DY. And Paparazzi dual lane, the Abaddon and the Spectre against this bat. So X Nova's kind of just focusing on DY here before that Aphotic Shield comes up. Yeah, he's just spending all of his mana trying to give Lone Druid as much as advantage as possible because once Abaddon hits level 2 with the Photic Shield, he can just dispel sticking a Palm Charges. But I think we should focus on Pudge's lane. Just watch him last hit. It gives me a great satisfaction. I love this build, the double stout and ring of protection that you're able to kind of pick up the two stouts at base, come out to lane, yeah, buy the ring of prot at the side shop. You can buy seven armor in the side shop, that's insane. Or chain mail as well. Yeah. yeah. Pretty powerful. Charles has his wave under his tower as well, so he should be able to secure a few last hits here. Four and nil for him currently. A Doom 11 and three though, having a pretty spectacular start. As FY unable to open anything up, maybe now as Yang made that move forward. Chalice already level two, but the Inkswell is there from Fade. Quick swashbuckle towards the back end. Will force them to reconsider their initiation. The real spooky thing though is always going to be this Nature's Prophet. If he's able to TP to some of these side lanes and really enable that numbers advantage, potentially get some kills. So far, he's been doing pretty well against the Tiny. Very even farm trade, as DY does deny himself with that missed coil. Even though it got nerfed, it's uh, pretty doable. X Nova is going to do the same thing Yang to himself. has potentially found a Chalice here, but that tankiness means FY's backstab will put pressure onto Fade. And here's the TP in from Somnus. Quick bit of damage from the Stroke of Fate, but it's a kill and the first blood drawn for LGD. Easy flash heap for Pudge. Also, he shared him a tango. Look at that region. Two points in flash heap, 18 per second while eating a tango. <laughs> and Nature's Prophet, you know, TP's bottom lane with a spell. Immediate TP scroll back to mid. So he's not losing out on any gold, any experience. And he can continue to pressure Ori really nicely with double nulls already up on that Prophet. Paparazzi top struggling a touch. 10 and 2 on this Spectre. Kind of to be expected with Lone Druid being so exceptional at last hitting and denying. With the bear and the hero. X Nova actually burning through the creep wave there, funnily enough. But overall, it feels like LGD getting an upper hand across three lanes. 
Not as disastrous as game number one here for, for Vici, though. They definitely have much, much more potential in this one, especially with that Grimstroke and yeah. Doom when they get to level six. Now look at that Fly. He's playing so aggressive on the bottom lane because they know Nation's Prophet is ready to TP with those two Null Talismans, Orb of Venom on Pango and Blightstone on Prophet. They could easily score a kill. So far, just trading farm. Inkswell down bottom. With that big hit from the Doom, we'll look for Chalice and claim his life. Two very low HP heroes here on VG Gaming. No rotation from the Prophet, though. As he did take a bit of a beating in the mid from that tiny, and FY actually FY in a spot dead, above. Though. He is dead. A double kill for Yang. They needed that rotation from Nature's Prophet. TP was ready. I wonder if he got avalanched. I saw his HP going down little by little, so it might have been a cancellation from Ori to stop that TP rotation. Regardless, Chalice does come back down bottom, has the chainmail like you mentioned, has X Nova. Looking for bounty runes and maybe looking for paparazzi. TP from Prophet is coming in. Two seconds till runes, here's maybe. Well, takes the rune up, paparazzi does, and with four sticky napalm charges is back to the shrine just in time. Double shrine popped at five minute mark, the value. So it can reset, that's one way to think, or, oh, we just use the shrine. We're not gonna have it for later. Lone Druid keeps on farming, has face boots plus Orb of Venom on that Spirit Bear. Reasonably standard opening nowadays. Allows you to pivot into the Mask of Manus build if you want to, or go for that Midas into Radiance if needs be. Likely seeing the Mask of Manus here on the Lone Druid though. Give that chase potential onto heroes like Spectre and Tiny. Yeah, we still didn't see anything from Tiny. It's six minutes in only, but uh, if he grabs a good rune, ideally it would be Arcane Rune. Basically anything that's not uh, region or illusion. Oh, there's a big hook catching Fade. Inkswell onto the Doom will chase Chalice down into the trees. Fade will try to hide, but the TP yet again from this Nature's Prophet looking to close out a kill. But look at the damage from Yang. The turn around from Fade. They look for the Pudge and they will claim him. Or his arrival with a double damage rune. Somnus in trouble and down he'll fall. Vici gaming the ones this time to react, respond, and destroy LGD's aggression. Yeah, Tiny realizes that uh, Nature's Prophet has this global presence, and uh, now with that DD, he cleared the triple stack. Ori not very happy because Fade took one of those big creeps from him. Grimstroke has enough money for Arcanes and Ori is actually stuck around down here. He can buy his treads if he wants to, but a quick avalanche and punch into Chalice. That'll seal the deal. Yet another kill down here as FY forced to swashbuckle back over that little waterfall. And LGD, they bring numbers down, but they don't get any any kills in return, or he's actually just going to stick around even longer. He's turned the bottom lane into his home, trying to find X Nova. It looks like with a quick observer ward and a runaway, the entangling claws up top though, good catch on the Spectre. This is the lone druid, 1v1ing and finding that vital kill as X Nova doesn't seem to be too troubled by the tri lane. Oh, Vici Gaming quickly fire flying over the hills and far away, Yang and Ori. They want to catch him, they want to punish this bat, but they are chasing for so damn long. A quick toss forward will finally, at long last, give Ori that killing spree. They gave Lone Druid enough advantage on the top lane. Now he can play alone, which means that Batrider can move, even though it's only position 5 Batrider, who's uh, level 4, not that effective. It will I'm, be the I'm a bit worried for LGD's uh, lineup, because uh, it's single target with Nature's Prophet, uh, Bat Rider, they all have some kind of AoE, but it's really not much, and their team fight is way, way weaker. Also, Vichy Gaming, they have better late game insurance. You have this Spectre, and you also have a lot of. Uh, You've got the, the Double heroes. Doom. Yeah, you have Double Doom, you have Tiny, who is having a good game, which means that he can create a lot of the space. As long as he gets a good timing on that blink, as so far. As long as he gets good runes. <sighs> of course, Invis here for Ori. Can't really go under the tier one as Chalice holds his ground. But X Nova on this high ground doesn't quite get spotted there. I think the Tiny will try and loop in from behind. With the first haunt of the game, Paparazzi will join and play for the Doom Towards Bat. They'll try and claim yet another one, but the Lone Druid's arrival 
with this spirit bear and the next prophet coming through bouncing the ulti around yang in trouble now and lgd it's their turn to respond paparazzi with no horn might have a dagger in a couple of seconds needs to get through the trees does have there it in Ruth one second it. it's coming it's coming lacoste but he can't find it deep in the jungle that spectre i'll go and make her home but there is the nine minute phase boot hand of midas on the lone druid FY. Somnus is diving this. The Sprout to give the vision. Inkswell comes out. Fade will actually connect with it. Pops the stick as FY looks to try and defend this Nature's Prophet deep behind enemy lines. Unfortunately, it's not to be. FY trapped with his buddy. And VG Gaming punishing this LGD aggression. Don't forget, that's a position to Nature's Prophet. Yeah. Precisely. This is accelerating the tiny towards that blink dagger incredibly quickly. 10 to 4. It's about to hit 10 minutes, so these bounty runes coming in. X Nova looking to secure at least one of the top ones. Chalice is here as well. Quick hook forward, but the Soulbind's there. Look for the Ink Swell to connect as well to stop the dismember onto Paparazzi. Down goes the Bat Rider as X Nova is found by Fade, but Paparazzi sprouted and slain. That's a good rotation, exactly what LGD needed there. They picked up runes, got a kill on Spectre to delay her item timings, and they're gonna even grab Fade. Three points in Inkswell. Need to run away, but again, nice Sprout. That's gonna be easy flash heap for Pudge. And a triple kill for Somnus on that Nature's Prophet. And we didn't really look into or talk about too much this Nature's Prophet build. We've seen a little bit of mid-profit, safe lane profit, going for that, uh, or uh, you know, several months ago, the Vlads, the Crimson Guard, these big, beefy, aura, tanky items just to join fights and continue pushing forwards. He will need damage items this game because they need a secondary carry. Yeah. Because previously, we, you know, we've, we, we know, we know and love Nature's Prophets with the Hands of Midas and the Maelstroms and all that good stuff. As Yang being pummeled into the ground by this Prophet, throws the Nature's Wrath out to bounce around, and DY came in. Save your buddy syndrome is a real thing, and that's a bad and feeling the pain. We'll look for the miscoil to nine. No, he's gonna pop the borrowed time. Heals himself up, but there's the lasso into the fire and the flames. He will be dragged. How can turn to use the mystic coil? Mystic coil, what? <laughs> oh, the... Mystic staff, mystic snake, mystic coil. So things slipping away a little bit from that momentum that VG Gaming had, and we're now looking at a 2,000 net worth lead for LGD, thanks to these very swift maneuvers from Somnus. And of course, that Hand of Midas on Druid, who has been reasonably quiet the past couple of minutes. They just pushed the Tier 1 tower on bottom lane, and now with Pudge pushing out the top wave, Lone Druid TPs with Spirit Bear. Yeah, this tower is gone. I love this. Pudge didn't have a good game, buys a casual bracer, some extra magic resistance, and building towards the hood. Tiny has a blink dagger. That's going to be a blink dagger reveal because they just smoked. Uh, ideally, you would want to grab a better kill, but uh, they're going to grab what they can. Uh, they have managed to shut down FY reasonably well this game, in comparison to the previous game anyway. It doesn't have the Javelin Arcane's mech at 15 minutes that he had previously, as they do haunt onto X Nova down bot, using these you know, big item reveals and big long cooldown ultis to gather yourself two kills on two supports. Feels like a drastic measure that Vici Gaming are taking to try and get this map control back. Nature's Prophet now 7,000 net worth. With all these towers falling, it is gold in the coffers of LGD. 7k on the LD. You do have this pack of three heroes, all green, lighting up the net worth chart there for Vici Gaming. Tiny Doom and Spectre looking okay, reasonable, satisfactory, some might say, but not exceptional by any means. Yeah, this Radiance timing on LGD's side will hit way, way faster than what the Spectre is going to be. So, it's still a position 5 Batrider. He's not going to achieve much in a team fight, uh, but you still have this Flaming Lasso, a BKB piercing ability. Hang on a second. Scriff, could you zoom in on Bat for a second? Look, he, at, look, at, his gogg look at his goggles. Now if we go to Lone Druid, uh, did, he, did, he, did they...? He stole. Oh, yeah, he not... needs to change oh, into, you can't see that in that into form, ranged can you? form. 
please. Man, it's when you wear the same shirt as your mate when you go out clubbing, you know? It's not good. Not a good look. Toss back onto the Pudge. Chalice thrown into the waiting arms of Yang. He'll delay the inevitable with a dismember here. Still the Infernal Blade. Will secure the kill as Army looking for Ori, defended by that nice Ephotic Shield and Miss Coil coming out from DY. The Avalanche to delay the push forward from the Spirit DP Bear. From Prophet has that Maelstrom, a lot of damage. Man, this bear is so fast as well. Ori does have another shield on him, but one more tap down by the bear will be enough to take him out. And it's gonna be Nature's Prophet that finds it. Soulbite comes in now with a nice little stroke of fate through the treants, but FY rolling through, looking for the second connection onto this Yang Doom. Good damage forward from this maybe Prophet, and they have the last. So not quite enough to kill off Yang just yet. The heal's coming out from this DY Abaddon. Keep up and running and fade from the back. The Grim Stroke is picked off at long last. They were so low. Unfortunately, FY didn't get. Uh, Is he? Are they? The swashbuckle proc, but uh, oh, maybe he's yeah. still chasing. I mean... <laughs> this is. This is some serious stuff from LGD. They are giving no quarter to Vici Gaming. They are pushing things to the limit, diving in deep, and Ori will punish. Finally, this Tiny gets himself another little pop-off onto the Pangolier, but he might be paying with his life. Lone Druid there with the Entangling Claws, and yet again, this macro maneuverability from Nature's Prophet arriving right on time to sprout him up and look for the kill on the Tiny, but the Doom catches Pudge. Yang is now battling away and killing off the bear. DY turning on the spot, looking for that Inkswell to try and connect onto the Lone Druid, but doesn't quite get close enough. These fights are lasting for so long. More They're than still going. two minutes. X Nova, the final casualty of the cost. Abaddon doing God's work. He used Mist Coil and a Photic Shield so many times. Also, Soulbind connects to a Spirit Bear. They wanted to use Double Doom, but since it connected to a Spirit Bear, he decided not to go for it. Paparazzi. Not panicking, just walks it off to jump in. Chalice FY looking for the rolling thunder. There's the soul bind, holds the pango in place. So ulti now expended and Yang actually moving forward with the inkswell and the double silent avalanche. Where's the toss? Ori moves in and will absolutely annihilate this poor little pudge. Gets himself to deny though. Chalice removes that golden experience from the hands of Vichy Gaming as a savage roar from Arme forces their retreat now. And so much emphasis from this Vici side, top lane, top lane, top lane, because LGD keep bringing it to them. And then as soon as that back snaps, as soon as Vici Gaming bring five heroes top to try and defend, maybe he's down bottom. Yeah, the problem is they don't have the hero that goes in and pops a Baton ulti, so he can't play that aggressive. He, he's uncontested in the back lines. Untouched. Yeah, they have no burst damage whatsoever. Maybe Pango can try to use Swashbuckle on him with the Javelin proc. Should be enough. Echo Saber being worked on by Ori, in fact, very nearly completing it. A nice little bottle refill there for the Tiny as well. And we did see the Doom heading into Hand of Midas. How do you feel about that? He might still swap things around. We'll see if uh, he actually decides to go for it. Like, ideally, you would want to have Blink Dagger. He's just waiting to see how the game develops. Like, if they need the fight right now mm. to give some time to Spectre to farm her Radiance. Well, there is the Hand of Midas. And I, you know, usually, or very often, anyway, in these kind of games, you'll have one hero that wants to buy Pipe, one hero that maybe wants to get a Crimson. Against this LGD side, you kind of want both. So having that Midas allows you to push from one into the other a little yeah. bit faster. But they feel comfortable right now, so he can afford to go for it. And uh, he wants to get himself to that level 15 extra. Devour bonus gold. The items will start piling up. And they know that they don't really have a game until Spectre's online anyway. So it's all about buying time for this Paparazzi Spectre. 400 off of the Sacred Relic. Well, Lone Druid is 300 off of the recipe, already having that Sacred Relic. This is the timing that we talked about, and it's go time for LGD. Problem is, this Budge is not having a good game. His 0, 6 and 6, a lot of those kills are from the laning stage. I think he should have the full pipe on the Courier. He's queued up the Vlads. Three Flash Heap stacked there for the Pudge. As Yang walks into his lane, wanders in, waves goodbye as he sprints on out. And there is the courier. With a buckler for FY, I think. The Radiance for Ame. A lot of 
Whoa. items coming at the same time. Pipe, full Mjolnir, and Radiance. Nature's Prophet, full Mjolnir. Yeah, that's a big one. Static charge on the bear is not to be underestimated. If they send that bear forward, Mjolnir's static charge on him causes all kinds of issues for Vici Gaming. Vici does not want to fight right now. They need a thousand gold on Spectre. It they are pinging it out because they see it's only a sacred relic. It's but go look time. at this big boy. Tanky Pudge. He takes the full combo. Barely half HP taken off of him. And now Ori may be isolated. There's the stack charge onto the bear with entangling claws. Nice little dispel from the Aphotic Shield. But FY never gives up, never surrenders. Keeps pushing the damage forward. And Somnus will claim a monster kill streak over on that tiny. In the meantime, X Nova's going toe to toe with Paparazzi and Fade now. They do turn around to try and battle into the Bat Rider. And the arrival of DY. The hook scraping the backside of the Spectre. But Army comes through in with the Radiance. In with a Pango, DY unfortunately nowhere to run, and Paparazzi potentially nowhere to hide. If they get one more Entangling Claws coming out soon, no, Arme is too far He's away, in. but Prophet is not. TP's in, immediately doomed as Charles goes with the Dismembered now, and the Lone Druid sprinting forward to secure that Retribution kill. Yang used Doom just to protect Spectre, so that she can live. Bounty yeah. Runes are spawning, someone needs to TP top and pick it up for Vici Gaming. It's extra gold for Spectre to get it. To that Radiance, but the Vici Gaming, they're not stopping. They feel that Vici Gaming is weak right now. Also, I love the play from X-Noa. He was there alone on bottom, just trying to buy some time for Spectre with the Flaming Lasso. Yeah, he gives his life for an excellent fight for LGD. Decent net worth swing for them as well. One casualty only, that Bat Rider there. And they do spy out Tiny. With that Nature's Prophet Treant bobbling his head all the way around, the drums popped. But they don't have the gap closed right here. Fade is even there as the backup plan to save up Ori. No Fade big deal. is so farmed. Has a Blink Dagger, Aether Lens. He has the same amount of farm as Pudge, even more than Pango Leader. And don't forget, that's FY Pango. Um, Grimstroke's portrait is heroes only, right? You can't target hero units like the Lone Druid Bear. It's, it's a new thing. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's hero only. The uh, Aghanim's upgrade, sorry. Oh, he can't make a copy of the bear, surely. I don't know the that's, mechanics. That's a good question it is. because some of the spells work on bear, like... Um, like Malad Soulbind. <laughs> yeah. Maledict because, Soulbind. Because it's not like a unit, you know, like a... Nature's Prophet Treant is just a unit, yeah. right? Whereas the Spirit Bear is kind of a hero unit because it can carry items. Well, maybe we'll find out. No disables here from the Prophet to stop that TP. Chalice was trying to wander down with that long range hook, but not quite in time. And this is the beauty of the Lone Druid Radiance. Midas off cooldown. What do we like to say? Massive Pidus? Yes, sir. Finally gets the utilization out of it, but he can just put the bear on one of these side lanes, shove it out without any threat to his bear whatsoever. Usually, Pudges go for level on level ten, the thirty-five rot damage oh, yeah. that you build into into pipes, so you're tanky enough, dealing a lot of damage, pushing out the waves quickly. But in this game, he needs the XP gain talent because he did not have a good laning stage at all. So if they win a team fight or two, that's going to get him closer to level 20, and that GPM talent uh, will help him out get the items that he needs. We'll see where he heads. He has a full Vlad's. Being delivered now. The next timing for LGD looks like it should pivot around that BKB of profit, or maybe not. They're going for a sly smoke immediately off the back of that Vlad's, as Arme's bear will get revealed, and that should give up the jig. As LGD still follow the panda, follow the spirit bear into that radiant triangle through the jungle. Not going to find anyone, but this is all about controlling that area, controlling Roshan, getting vision down, and also potentially shoving out those two waves mid and top in that kind of pincer movement that you can do from that plateau area. They would want to grab a kill or two, then turn that into Roche. But uh, the global presence from the Spectre, and she is starting to get the more items after that Radiance pickup. It's uh, Yasha finished on her. 
It's go time again for LGD. There's that PKB on Somnus. Blink X on Batrider. X Noah, position five. Really good timing on that Blink dagger. 24 minutes in, Tranquil's Windlace Blink. Exceptional, exceptional farming from the Bat. 77 CS. Yeah, look at that. Compare it to the 25 of DUI's Abaddon. Feels bad, man. And these lanes, they are always going to be pushed in towards Vici Gaming side, pretty much. You can maybe argue that one lane's pushed out by Spectre, but with a Lone Druid, with the Treants, with the Bat, all shoving out. It is constantly a fighting... Oh! Doom lassoed! In comes FY's Rolling Thunder, and, and they even bring in maybe. Quick little soul bind with a BKB pop before the Doom gets cast. They will still continue to fight. They've caught out FY in the back, still doomed up, but Yang will fall. Ex Nova traded as the Entangling Claws, the Savage Roar. Double Tiny has bear. to save up Paparazzi. The Spectre cannot die. She needs to stay alive. Unfortunately for her, the bear is hunting her down, and FY will secure the kill. Three quick takedowns by LGD. Losing their profit and bat, fair enough. But FY is looking to go even deeper. Most importantly, this Lone Druid stayed alive and Spectre died. What a balls from LGD. They decided to take a fight after double Soulbind. I mean, Soulbind into double Doom and still won a team fight. They lost the Nature's Prophet because he was doomed and the Bat Rider. But that's the, the most important thing is Lone Druid lives, Spectre died. That timing on the BKB from... Maybe was pretty damn sick, honestly. He didn't. So, when you get Soulbind put on you, your natural reaction very often is to slam that BKB body. Oh, dearie me. No, oh, he blinked out of the hook. That went straight between his legs. Gets nutmegged. Oh, it's one of those uh, ex Noah. He's playing a Bat Rider, so you want to cast Stick in a Palm Charge just instead of hitting him first. Yeah. And didn't cancel the Blink Dagger. But yeah, usually you want to BKB when you get soulbound, but he waited for the Doom to lift his arms. He knew that he could wait for that Doom to start casting and then pop that BKB at the very last second. Ori, Echo Saber, Crystalis. Decent chunks of damage if he's able to jump on the right target. Pinging out maybe right now. But X Nova spots out the ward and he'll be the frontline target for the Tiny to take. Chalice with the Phantom's Embrace on him will just waddle back away across the river. Nothing massively lost there by LGD. They know where an Ob's Ward is, and they know they can deward it a little bit later uh, it's on. It's a full AC on Ooh. Lone Druid on top of Vlad's. They have a lot of armor, a lot of sustain. So they've got Vlad's Pipe AC. Uh, does Pango have Greaves yet? He must be getting pretty darn close. Yes, he is. DY. Not going to sacrifice himself this time, as again, Chalice barely off the mark with these hooks. There are some tanky boys on this LGD side, and it's so difficult as a Spectre to really find a good target in these fights, right? Who does Spectre, if Spectre haunts, who does she go on? Ori, jumping in, will cast Chalice down to half HP after he's had the kitchen sink thrown at him, and they've even soul bound him up with a bear. Still following through with DY Paparazzi chasing Chalice. Arme and FY can turn us around with the Greaves popped out. Chalice, he's gonna deny himself, of course he does. Three heroes hitting him, he just pops on rot and says goodbye. Arme losing the bear, as FY rolling in, Avatos, buyback from Pudge, in they come. LGD want to battle now with the lasso back onto the Doom, the x connects, but the bear is resummoned and has come back in with a savage roar. They will hunt down Vici Gaming, the Horn, I mean Paparazzi, yeah, bouncing spectre. around, and he does get away, out of danger until the Horn he connects. Charles ball back for the biggest hook of his life, catches the Spectre, that is important, that kill. He maybe didn't hit uh, that many hooks uh, so far, but he hit the important one. Spectre has a buyback. If, the, if she wants to use it, they're still haunting Fade, but he has a Blink Dagger to blink away. But you can see the problem for Paparazzi. He pops Horn and very quickly realizes, I can't drop the LD or the Pudge or the Nature's Prophet. I've got to go for the Bat or the Pango, and Pango has that maneuverability to get away. And this is, this is high ground for LGD now, potentially, as they just walk straight up the ramp. Tier 3 tower, down you go. No glyph here for the Radiant either. Arme will 
very safely and securely just pummel away at that melee barracks. In jumps Ori. Soulbind catches maybe into the back. He should have BKB in a couple of seconds, but Yang spread it up in the middle of it all. Firefly over the top of him and FY oh, in with a rolling thunder. They've got Chalice to maybe pop it out, but Yang saved by DY. The beautiful Abaddon keeps him alive. Really unfortunate hook hit, but uh, also FY hit the stun in the mid air, so he kept him in place. There's a lot of weird interactions with the uh, Pudge's hook. Still, they got the melee barracks, which is uh, the most important thing. Pudge moving into Crimson Guard next. We've seen Arme queue up the basher. LGD flush with cash at this point. And we've got a Manta Star to show for ourselves over on the Vici gaming side with that Spectre. It's more of a downside that you can use Soulbind onto Bear because yeah. it still latches and you do not want to pop that uh, big Doom onto Bear unless it's second Bear. Yeah, that's right. Sometimes it's good because you're going to find the target and keep them in place, but uh, doesn't look good in this particular game. Yeah, something else as well is that Silver Edge being built by the Nature's Prophet. He almost has it. He really does. 700 off of it. 25% CDR over on that Furion as well, as he TPs straight on top of the shrine. Not really a care in the world for this maybe profit. Hey, pushing out bottom lane with his little treants as well. Here comes LGD. Manta style illusions come out to push out mid lane, and Yang unfortunately follows them into his own death. Dead for 50 with buyback available. As LGD should be securing Roshan off of the back of this. A quick TP top with the Spirit Bear. Push that wave all the way out. And Roshan is all but secured for PSG LGD. They need to fight. If they see Radiant Scan <laughs> just connected, Doom needs the buyback. There it is. Tiny. Jumps X Nova. Doesn't quite get the finish though. Quickly move in with Fade blinking forward, but the Phantom's Abrace is him. taken Spirit Vessel. down. Shrine will keep him alive, ever so barely survives. And we've got maybe backstabbing Fade. Hook not quite connecting on the target he wanted, but the charge forward from Ame's bag, giving that vision up onto the high ground, allows them to move in for the toss forward. Chalice actually overextends, maybe feeling a little bit ballsy because of that bear bodyguarding him up. And he has been caught by the Radiant Shrine. LGD shouldn't want to take this fight now. So the buybacks come through in force from Vichy Gaming. Is he going to deny himself? Absolutely not this time, says DY. And he used pinging, the buyback in the previous fight. They're pinging Roche. Vichy Gaming want to take Roche themselves. It's minute and a half without Pudge. You're absolutely right. It is. They are four. They are but five they versus no four. damage whatsoever if Spectre is not there. <laughs> Spectre is bottom lane. Oh, 2400. Get this kill. X Nova Blink Lasso is ready. Be very, very quiet because VG Gaming are hunting Pangos. FY's behind the tier two, so is Arme. They may yeah, have seen this coming. They may know that this smoke had happened because they are Gary. They are sitting by their tier threes. Look at them. They're afraid of the smoke. Three, four heroes from LGD literally in their base. And now Arme's bare. I think they've realized very, very late now that Roshan is being attempted, not just attempted, but taken, cruising towards this first Aegis, Vici Gaming. They found a way back into the game, potentially. Maybe they could have tried to snatch Aegis with uh, this Bangalier. Rolls in, tries to stun them, Spirit Bear uses fear, but they did not want to risk it. This just shows how complex Dota game is. Pudge uses a buyback there, they win a fight, uh, now he doesn't have it. Has some extended seconds added to his death timer, and uh, VG Gaming uses that info and just goes straight into the Roche pit. Yeah, and whether or not LGD knew, or saw, or just assumed, and felt that the smoke was coming, they played incredibly defensively and didn't really respect the Roshan taking capabilities of that Radiant side. As we've got a spicy Aghanim Scepter on Tiny! Here we go, with the tree Don't volley! Don't him! Do not sprout the tiny. Toss back on Chalice. Blink Lasso in from X Nova. The Soulbind is there onto the two of them now as maybe comes in from the southeast and the side. He's got the stack charge on him and the BKB going. He is pummeling these Vici Gaming heroes into the ground and Ori's already gone. Very the nice Spectre's axe. in trouble now. Oh, dearie me, Paparazzi. Aegis reclaimed already as the DY Abaddon will buy back, but they've lost everything. Down goes Doom inside the Sprout. The break.
Jake is there on the Spectre as well. If only they had an additional stun, they could have killed Paparazzi twice. LGD still incredible performance taking these fights. That Agrim Scepter did absolutely nothing on Tiny. <laughs> he just died there and now he doesn't even have buyback because of it. Right, here comes the high ground push once more. Entangling Claws pops the man to Paparazzi to get away from that Disable. And the strokes of fate, they are being a little obnoxious towards LGD with that ability to wave clear and chip away at their life totals so consistently, forcing FY to pop the Greaves reasonably early on here, but it still does allow LGD to force the capitulation of this bottom lane. Tier 3 and Barracks both claimed. Vici Gaming left scratching their heads, wondering what went wrong. Paparazzi, careful, buddy. That maybe Profit does an awful lot of damage. Savage Raw will send them packing. And Arme, maybe TP home. Use that Midas. There it is. Arme knows what's up, knows what's important in Dota. They still have two range raxes and uh, one melee ones. They lost Aegis there. So that's pretty huge deal for Vici Gaming. Paparazzi butterfly coming, but if we take a look at Lone Druid, and, yeah, there, there it is, and Nature's Prophet, both of them, I believe, have MKBs, and they absolutely do. Preemptive, almost. Destructive item pickups here from LGD. Yeah. It's miss from Radiance, miss from Butterfly. Two flies with one hit. Two flies with one monkey? <laughs> There's two monkeys, though. Here we go, LGD yet again towards the bounty runes this time. On the high ground they go. Maybe doesn't pop his BKB quite in time now as he's soulbound up. Finally gets it off. Uh, the dismember cancelled out pretty quickly there. And VG Gaming, they're tanking through a lot of this damage, but the tankiness of LGD is insurmountable until Ori comes through. Slaps down to Prophet and Pudge are both gone. Batrider follows them to the grave. And Army with FY, they're left wondering what went wrong. Do we run and fight? A uh, high? Do we turn and fight? The paparazzi specters pretty low, but she'll chase down the lone druid, and a triple kill for Ori. I don't even know if he used the tree volley, he just slapped him down. He did, it was not very effective. He just got most out of his spells and that uh, crystal is that he has. They chose to fight in a really clutch area. Oh. That's a full team wipe, Gary. That's 4.5k going the way of Vici Gaming, a negative 1,800 gold, but I think it's the experience that's going to matter the most for them, honestly. Yeah. Look at that, 3,000 experience apiece. You're fighting near the shrine against a Baron who they did not uh, focus there or isolate. It's tough. This Vlad's and Pipe kept them alive. Nature's Prophet was um, life-stealing of it, but uh, not enough. And LGD kind of went in, you know, one by one, two by two, going up onto the arc. Unfortunately, it wasn't Noah waiting for them. It was Paparazzi. LGD really didn't have that five-man commitment that they would have ideally liked, and it's given lifeblood back to Vici Gaming. Wind That's behind their sails once more. Swing. We were at what 13,000 net worth lead or so, down to 2k, 1k. Now that the final bounty runes are being gathered up here. And experience, look at that. It's an upside down Bitcoin graph. Down we go. We don't mention that word. <laughs> I'm sorry. Were you an investor? I'm not gonna, no, well, we'll move on. It's okay, Lacoste, I don't want to, don't want to make you cry, buddy. BKB nearly done for Ori now, as he destroys creeps with a tree volley. What is it, a 10 second cooldown on that big boy? 12 second cooldown. You basically get six attacks for increased damage, 120%. And that's a BKB for him. Mm -hmm. Once he gets that Daedalus, if it gets to that, it will be a lot of damage. And Spectre getting closer to level 25, one of the most broken things in game on top of the what Spectre already has. 6% dispersion. With the Abaddon, like, she's not dying. Especially when she gets her BKB. That Silver Edge on the Nature's Prophet, not going to be as potent in the coming fight as maybe. He's moving towards the Satanic now. We're looking for top rune. Double damage down bottom as he does connect with his team up in the top half of the map. 
Farming away in the jungle, being very patient LGD now, and I assume that both sides will ideally be looking for that. Second Roshan, a big fight around it. The Aegis and the Cheese. The worry is though, as always throughout this game, the LGD has the superior split push. They've got the superior wave control with this Lone Druid Radiance, the Nature's Prophet TPing around, and the, just the mobility of Bat and Pango being able to move on the map where they where they wish, basically. Look at the cast range on Stroke of Fate after level 20 talent. Like, it's out of the screen. Zoom it out, Scriffy boy. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Here comes VG Gaming. They leave Spectre down bottom to deal with the wave. Having a haunt, they can four-man smoke. Quick little grab onto Chalice here. As they toss the punch back, a third of his HP gone, half HP gone. It's taken him a while to pick him off. Dismember is there to steal a bit back. The Soulbind does move out with a hex onto that Pangolier in the back. FY jumped again. My Ori swipes him down and LGD lose two. The double buyback will arrive as maybe coming through with the BKB. Doomed up now and this is LGD losing out massively. The hook back. Chalice is being tossed around, but it's the main fight we're going to focus on with Armey in the middle of it all. There he gets the entangling claws under the doom. Chalice now back in with FY, finding the tiny with the BKB popped. He can buy a bit of time for himself and maybe waddle himself out with the help of DY. He blinks out, somehow survives the hook. Chalice, he's got his number. The deny is there for the abandon to try and heal him up, but Paparazzi with a triple kill now in the trees. Trapped in a sprout, and Chalice is buyback with FY. Keep them locked in place. Yang will walk away. They don't care about it. Getting Where's him. Hook? They he needs only to land it. Want to the, the left. To the left. FY will chase him, and maybe we'll click him. Sprout to give a bit of vision now, and FY, one more swashbuckle should seal it up. He's going to crash down on the head of that paparazzi Spectre. Spectre does not have a buyback. LGD does not know that. They used five buybacks in that fight. Next Roche, when is it spawning? It just spawned. They don't oh, have no the vision. Way. They're scouting out with the Spirit Bear. Four buybacks from LGD. Top tower is under they lose so much gold out of that fight, but they've got five alive now. Three heroes with that buyback on the VG Gaming side, and here they go. High ground once more. Oh, uh, only if they knew that Spectre does not have a buyback. But they're gonna force it out. For, I mean, you can't force out what, what's <laughs> not there, right? Well, that's their game plan, that's their goal. Final tier three, up at this top lane. Tree Volley does come through. Chalice taking a couple of blows there, but the drag back. Lasso, X Nova, tiny. got the tiny. In they go to Ori, he's BKB. Will give him a bit of safety, but they've got the chase forward with Chalice grabbing onto DY now. FY will block off the path, but they want that target in the middle. Down goes Yang, force the buyback out, and VG Gaming. They need to defend this barracks. The mega creeps are coming because LGD, Three they're Wally, knocking on the door it. of your base. The hook, no! The flame break potentially stopped the hook from landing, but it is a full barracks removal. LGD, the building destructors. Ori needs to get something out of this chase, but he is so afraid of going into the blind high ground. If somehow they managed to kill Tiny there, it was 100% a game. Now Spectre. He's gonna get out. She has uh, Haunt to work with, but uh, LGD need to be careful. They have Mega Creeps, but this game's still not over. And they're even tentative, tentatively thinking about Roshan. Still worried, though, that Vici Gaming, like you're saying, have all respawned now, could mount a defense around the pit. And with one hero having buyback in this entire game, being the Batrider, <laughs> we're getting into messy, messy situations. They need to go all in with the items since no one has a buyback. Oh, this Nature's Prophet with Mega Creeps on his side. He, he's got the TP cooldown talent. He could bounce around, even get in onto the tier fours. Mirror movement from both of these sides. The Dire scanning down south as they do smoke into that bottom half of the map through the Radiant Jungle. Vici Gaming in the pit though, leaving Spectre top to clear out these waves, having Haunt available. 
TP getting fake pumped by this Prophet, and in comes X Nova. Lasso dragged back into the waiting arms of maybe with the Silver Edge, the Dismember, and down you go. Spectre gone for 100, but has the buyback now. Buyback and Haunt. Roshan was given up on. Vici Gaming want to try and find a fight here. They're cutting them off at the pass, and Chalice might be that sacrifice that LGD have to give up over towards Vici Gaming. He's a big boy, but the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Tier 4 is getting cruised towards by this Lone Druid. Oh. Oh, the Mega Creeps are Gatsby. coming. Look at it go. The Doom entangled up. Holy shit, Yang, you're being bashed. You're going to get killed off. The TP out from Arme, defended by X Nova, who gets doomed up and hunted by Paparazzi, will lose his life. Well, okay. FY went in there to maybe defend up Chalice, but three heroes down from LGD. Vici have five heroes alive. Oh, and LGD, they use the glyph as well on their creeps in the base just to keep more time. Keep them busy. Tier 4 is barely surviving. It's it's tough. This game could go easily both ways because only Batrider has a buyback and the, they pretty much use them <laughs> all at the same time. So they need to survive for next three minutes. We are running out of item slots for a lot of these heroes. Oh, not on Lone Druid. <laughs> not on Lone Druid, you are absolutely correct. Has more than most. 175. <sighs> the cleave. So the cleave talent got buffed. What was it? 140 before, and now it got buffed up to 175. I feel like we very, very, very rarely see it outside of meme games, but Doom has to kill creeps, so he's gonna go cleave. High ground time for Vici Gaming, Paparazzi, and DY. On to the tier fours. They'll do a bit of chip damage here, maybe even clear it up, which could open shrines for them. Are they going? Tier 4, they're going to end the, they're trying to end the game. Top lane, the Prophet is shoving in and he will claim that final inner tower on the Radiant side as Paparazzi moved towards the fountain. Spooky times for this Spectre as Arme clears up the illusions. The barracks still stand. And Ori can't really make a jump onto anyone. They still need 20 seconds. They They've got don't. no creeps after this wave. Yeah, but they don't have the glyph since they used it in the base. They can live through this. Roche, number two, still alive. <laughs> How is he still alive? He's been given up on multiple times. Moonshard on that bear. DY with the Bracers and the Vlads. These mega creeps are so obnoxious. Tiny does it. I've got three heroes to deal with them. Fair enough, Spectre. Now Doom with the Talon and Tiny can all handle these big creep waves. Prophet teeping bottom. We'll of use course. some Treants. Also, these are two Siege creeps. Roshan very nearly down, though. X Nova scouting with that Arme Bear into the pit. They will move. FY rolling through. Trying to catch in onto that Roshan. He will fall. And Paparazzi, Paparazzi claims the Aegis. Arme there but from the outside the of the pit. The Bear is falling in the base. They are losing throne. X Nova goes down. But look at this. They've got the Doom onto the Prophet. And maybe will fall. Meanwhile, back towards the pit though. Paparazzi. How many lives does he lose? There's one. Will it be two? Arme. Thinking about running away now. DUI pushing forward towards the Lone Druid. FY and Chalice do have the potential to save him up here. <laughs> DUI gets melted. The hook back. They're soul bound up now, but they've saved the Lone Druid. Potentially no. Tiny. He's got the avalanche. He's got the toss. And Arme. Oh, he's being cleared up. Dead for two minutes. Chalice follows him to the grave. Four heroes gone on LGD. 20 seconds for Pudge buyback. <laughs> D these are insane timings on those buybacks. And Doom with the cleave talent is trying to get rid of the creeps in the base. They lost the ages. Buybacks will come faster on LGD's side. Is this the first time in the game that Vici have had, <clears throat> excuse me, a net worth lead? Because they suddenly have 4,000 ahead of LGD. Oh, there was a one spike. One tiny spike. I stand corrected, Mr. Graf. And Mr. Scriff, of course. Thrown at about half HP in that Radiant base, but it's Vici front foot forward, making the aggressive move over to the LGD side. A buyback from Profit and from Pudge. Finds Fade, the Grimstroke gone. Buyback available on him. Nothing really gained by Vici Gaming apart from those two buybacks. 
Prophet wants to go full rat. About to buy Deso. They need to keep timing on the glyph. Let me just check. Radiant has ready one. And uh, so does Dire. Mm. When's it time for the mass boots of travel? The spirit bear charging into the base. 44 seconds until Arme respawns. Very much damage mitigation now for LGD as they have lost a couple of fights in a row. Yang has bots. So he's the one defending these lanes, pushing out the waves, able to rejoin the fight at the drop of a hat. Poor Abad and Abat. Sub 10k net worth, closing in on 50k minutes when everyone else is so incredibly farmed. Level 24 and 20 as well, as everybody else has cracked at level 25. Lone Druid still needs some gold for buyback. If they're keeping the track, Spectre still two minutes, a bit more to have her buyback. Doom has a refresher. This is a big one. So we've got triple Doom basically now. Double Doom from the Soulbind and then an additional one to throw whichever way you please. And Spectre now has multiple haunts. As we're running out of buybacks, they do have to really spend up. We need Tome of Relearn, so Spectre could go for 40% Haunt Illusion damage instead. <laughs> Just relearn your talent tree. Respect that talent tree. What if the, what if the you know, fifth or sixth Roshan dropped one? It would be... Easily balanced. I mean, it would be way, way too slow. I mean... Even if it's fourth Roche, yeah, you're there aren't right. too many game-changing talents. I mean, we're not on our third Roshan yet, yeah. are we? Four minutes until fast spawn on that big boy. Bounty rune is being gathered up here by LGD. What's that ring of health for on the Pudge? Probably Lincoln Sphere. Let's see what he's bringing. He already has the Lotus, Almost the yeah. Dominator. Yo, oh. Oh, oh. they're going to go for big plays. They're going All for right. the TP plays. I mean, uh, fair enough. Fair enough. They can have the Lone Druid Bear split push one lane, have and a he, Helm Creep in the other the lane. He the best creep. The one you can see. Setter Banisher is one of the <laughs> smallest creeps. I would love to see Cabald Master instead. <laughs> because he's faster. <laughs> because he's faster. A little goblet spilling wine and blood all over the place. We don't know quite what he drinks from that cup. It's definitely tasty stuff. There is the Satter Banisher hiding in the tree line. Goblin Scotch, that's it. Goblin Scotch, fair enough. LGD posturing bottom, unseen by the Radiant team until now when X Nova pops his head over the cliffs. So we're looking at a buyback coming up in a thousand gold for the Spectre. It's coming off cooldown now. Doom will in 50 gold. The Radiant looking pretty good buyback wise, while the Dire not looking so hot. So, advantage, funnily enough, even though they're against Mega Creeps, advantage VG Gaming? Just through buybacks? It doesn't feel like they're losing anytime soon. They are holding on, pushing these creep waves out. What are we doing? There's, there's a cheese in the pit? Someone just left a cheese in the pit. <laughs> FYI will say thank you very much. Oh, would you look at that? <laughs> That's his way of saying thank you. Fake roll. D D on profit. Unfortunately, they have no buybacks, so making an aggressive move is not really what they want to be looking towards. I mean, the Spectre could still get two more items, put Refresher in the backpack, remove Power Threads. They're fine with playing this game for another 45 minutes. And so am I, the way this has been going. Absolutely loving it as the Blink Lasso catches. Spectre using the initial Haunt now to try and force a fight around the Soulbind. Double Doom will arrive, but FY, Pango caught on the cliff. He can't move forward, has to fall back. They'll lose out too. Pudge and Batrider both blown up, but in the base, they've got that double damage still. It finally wears off and the BKB is there for maybe to TP home. 
Yeah, Radiant, they use the glyph. FY, can he survive? Has Absolutely the buyback not. Swiped down by the Doom. So Radiant used the glyph and now their base is open. The throne has respawned back up from half HP. 6,589 damage from those two haunts of Spectre. I think if they just go into the base right now, they can finish it. Hit thrown, push one wave, hit thrown, yeah. end game. Likely the plan here from LGD. They can wait for the Pudge to respawn before trying it though. Oh man, Refresher being queued up by Grimstroke. Already has the Scythe of Vice. So th that's actually, they, they that can means have get... four Dooms. Yeah. Exactly. If Refresher is up on Doom, which is not. Four Dooms, four Hexes. That's going to be some nasty stuff. Now, Abaddon, you have two gems in your backpack, in your inventory even. I'm not sure about that. Uh, maybe. With a, with a boost of travel, the buyback from FY. They're, They're going, going through in. backdoor regen. They're winning the game. They're just destroying the throne. It's gone and it's over. The game ends like that. My goodness, LGD. They knew that with Glyph down, they could just absolutely storm